What's going on guys? Welcome to the last part of the Arun Indicator tutorial video series or mini series within our stock indicators in mathematics and Python. What we're going to do in this video is actually uh, chart this up. So if you don't already have uh, the empty code for uh, adding this into this charting application that pretty much just grabs this with the empty area for us to put in the indicator. Uh, this is the code down here. The link is in the description. Uh, and then just take the code all the way down to the bottom. Do a nice little copy there and paste it into an empty script. And where we will be doing all of our coding is right here between these two uh, comments here, start new indicator code. Uh, so now, uh, make some space in there. And all we need to do first is just copy and paste our other code, right? The one that we just got done building, this one, into there. Now, obviously, we don't need to be printing out all this. It would be a lot of data to print out, so I'm just going to delete that little printout there because that was kind of like our just debugging purposes, right? And let me just squish this up nicely, and we're ready. So now take this, copy it, and all the way up to the definition of the function. Just take the entire function, copy that, come over here, paste it, fix the indent. So up here, it'll be two indents, one, two. Obviously not the definition part, though. Don't indent that. Uh, and we're all set. Now, all we really need to do is define this stuff. So again, this spits out a rune date, a rune up, a rune down. So we just need to do uh, a date, and we'll just call it a u a d, right? For a rune up, a rune down e equals a rune, and then you put whatever the time frame you want. We're gonna use it 20 for now. Lastly, all we have to do now is just plot it up. So let's do a x two dot plot. And we want to plot, and actually date will conflict, so we better call that a date. Uh, we want to plot a date, uh, and then just to be with the rest of this uh, charting application here, we use something called SP for starting point. Uh, it's just so all of the data points will line up, because some data points are using a 50 moving average, some might be using, I think the other one's a 20 moving, or a 200 moving average, and so on. So you kind of want everything to line up nice and pretty. So we're going to use minus sp, oops, minus sp colon. So that's our x is the date. And then our y is au minus sp colon. And then we're going to plot that one as a green line. So that's the run up, right? So ax2.plot. Again, we want to plot a date with a uh, minus sp colon. And then this time we want to do ad for a run down minus sp colon. And then we want to make this a line a red line because it's the arun down line. Finally, we got to label it. So plot y label, uh, and this is going to be uh, an arun uh, 20, since that's the time frame we've chosen. And the color of that label will be white, so we can actually see it on our black background. That should be it. So let's go ahead and save it, run it, and let's see what we got wrong here. Well, that's no good. That must be an error in the actual uh, pasting of my function or my uh, script here. I don't see any other ones, but I wonder if that came from here or not. Let's look. So that was in the RSI one. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. I liked this uh, code pasting thing, but that's no good if it's doing that to us. It almost looks like it's only doing it in that one uh, spot. But, man, all right, uh, let's see. I think I have that code. Let me grab it, and, and I just want to see if that was the only spot that did it, because that is a greater than or equal to sign. Uh, it's doing that to me on. It makes me so mad. I like that. So it was nice, because uh, the other code I was posting uh, didn't look like this. It wasn't as good, and I, I was happy when I found this little thing where I could post the code. Uh, but that's no good. Surprised no one uh, complained on that one. So now what we need to do then, uh, let me fix that function. I'm just going to copy and paste the RSI function I've got. Um, hopefully that's the only one that got messed up, and maybe I can figure out how to fix that. So paste, huge difference. <laughs> so let's run this function or this thing again. Darn it! All right, man, it's those. It's the greater than signs that did it. Um, hmm. Well, that's a huge bummer. I'll have to work on getting that fixed, but for the time being, hopefully I'll have that fixed by the time anybody's watching these videos. Anyways, 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the code myself just by putting a nice copy and paste into here. So I'm going to pause the video and get back to this exact point without the uh, greater than or less than signs being all messed up. Alright guys, I'm back. I made the necessary edits on that page. It was, for whatever reason, sometimes WordPress will do that. It'll start encoding your stuff. Uh, so hopefully now it's on there. If I edit this page again, it'll mess up, so hopefully I won't have to edit this page again. Uh, and if I do, I'll have to remember to, to fix that stuff. Uh, but for now, uh, that's back, so by the time you're watching this, you won't have that issue. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and run this for real. And let's plot up uh, eBay. And um, just in case anybody missed that, whenever you run this, uh, it's going to ask you stock to plot. Just type it in. Um, and so here's eBay. Okay, so we've got a decent look at eBay now for over like you know the last 10 years. And so everything appears to be uh, working right. Let's go ahead and plot one more. Uh, let's do do Home Depot HD that up okay so here we go um, looks like our rune indicator is indeed now finally uh, working a couple hiccups there with the code but I'm glad I got that fixed because it was like whenever I post the code on WordPress it gives it like especially like, all the quotation marks get all messed up and stuff so I was happy when I found this too bad that happens but anyway um, yeah so anyway that's the rune indicator we're all set there with that one so that's going to conclude the Arun Indicator Tutorial mini-series in our uh, Python Mathematics and Stock Indicator series. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.